Everyone loves a good sticker, and that's no secret. There are stickers all over the place, but what makes a good sticker? And more importantly, how should you set up and design a sticker so that you can get it printed and it still looks good? What kind of finish should you put on it? Do you need that little white or black border around it or do you not? Well, I'm going to cover all of that in this video, showing you some really helpful tools that we have in Kittle to help not only make some unique stickers, but set them up and even show you how you can get it ready for an app like Sticker App, which is one of our partners in a previous challenge that we were running, which was a lot of fun. And this is how you're going to make some cool stickers. Now, let me show you a couple different ways. In Kittle here, if we're just on the templates page, you can see I just typed in stickers up here in the top just broadly. I didn't add any niches or anything to it. And there are a lot of templates that you can get started with in Kittle. If you're not sure where to start and you're not exactly sure what kind of niche you're looking for, you can just globally type in stickers and start scrolling. You're going to see everything from some typography one to some holiday ones like here's Halloween one um, here's some like work and productivity ones here's just cool quotes of the day ones and these are all formatted and ready for you to pretty much just go in edit your text and then export it and be on your way now I want to show you what you would do if you were starting from scratch so I opened up a project here and then as you can see I've got two artboards if you ever need to figure out how to add new artboards or add a new project from the editor, you can just click new project or you can hit new project up in the top right of your dashboard. And then to create more artboards, you can always select this little artboard tool or hit the A key, start dragging out your artboard and you're on your way. Now you can see I've got two illustrations here and I just grabbed these from our elements panel. If I open our illustrations uh, here, you're gonna see shapes, ornaments, illustrative, abstract. And all I just typed in was vinyl record. And in a second, you should see the one I used. Boom, right here, there it is. I just dragged it onto the artboard, no big deal. And then you can see there is a moon here where if I type in, I think I typed in celestial moon and we should see our moon here with the face, which is right here. We have a lot of celestial moons it looked like, but I liked this one the most. Now, here is your decision. You could just export these and upload them, which I am gonna show you exactly how to do in a minute, or we could create some variations, some more unique designs based off of these that we can then export. So you can see right here, I actually did that and made a cassette that's in the same style and color palette as this illustration of the vinyl record. And the way I did that was I clicked on it and then down here in our AI prompt box, you can see right here, it says generate with AI. I can click that and it goes away. There is this tab called remix right here. You can always just generate an image that you want with any of our models here. But if you click remix and you have something selected, in this case, it is the vinyl record. I typed in create an 80s cassette tape in the same illustration style. As you can see right here, you can choose any of the models. I went with Nano Banana Pro. They all take different tokens. And if you're watching this during January, 2026, you can actually get free tokens every day. So this is a great time to sign up for Kittle if you haven't already. I like Nano Banana Pro because it keeps the same consistency. And then you can select the amount of images you want. I'm going to do one. And then here you have all of the aspect ratios. I'm just going to have it match the input. And that's what I did for this one. Let's go ahead and do it again. So I'm going to generate that. It's going to create this little loading card right here. And let's do the same thing for the moon. We're going to leave in the same illustration style. We're going to say create a cactus plant in the same illustration. That's kind of westerny, mystical. I'm going to do the same thing, match Nana Banana Pro, one image. Actually, let's do two images because maybe I want to see how it comes out in a different way. And then you can see here is a completely different cassette tape. I'm going to hit remove background from this one because we don't need that white border around it. And once that's gone, boom, now we're left with a completely different cassette tape. Now, I like this one better, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. And you never kind of know what you're going to get depending on the model that you use. Sometimes C-Dream or ChatGPT 1 or 1.5 might be better. Sometimes Nana Banana Pro is better. All right, and here are our two cactus plants that are in the same style. I like this one better, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. Same thing as I was showing you before. I'm going to hit remove background because that's what we're going to need to make sure that we can export this in the right way and I really like how it kept some of the details of the squiggles the dots the stars 
and yeah, made a really, really cool illustration in the same exact style. And that's the kind of stuff that you're gonna wanna do to make more unique stickers. And we haven't even talked about doing any kind of typography or text or anything like that, which you can easily do by coming down here, hitting T or the text button. I'm just gonna drag a little text box right here. And then I'm gonna say, let's say quickly, I'm gonna go with plant on the top, and then I'm gonna go with life on the bottom. I'm gonna select both of these and then let's go for, you can actually type in keywords like psychedelic and we're gonna find one that's pretty cool. Or maybe this one's pretty cool. There's a lot of really good options for <laughs> the psychedelic niche or the mystical niche. Uh, let's go with this one. I'm gonna go with this and then maybe we actually wanna do it underneath. Actually, this might look cool inside the little plant vase here or the plant pot. And I'm going to do this. Obviously, this is a pretty simple looking design. And what I'm going to do is go over to transformation. I'm going to hit on uh, distort. And now we can kind of like bend this text to make it look like it's wrapping around the plant pot. And I'll do the same thing quickly with this other text. And in a few minutes, you can get a pretty cool sticker with some text along with an illustration that you used AI for. But let's talk about setting up your sticker to be ready for an app or a tool like Sticker App where you can get some really incredible looking stickers. So I have an artboard here with my record on it. And the way I like to duplicate my artboards is I like to hit the Alt or the Option key, click and drag so that I have a duplicate of it and then I can just take my record I will delete that and then I'm gonna put my cassette tape here in the middle if you ever need to make sure it's exactly in the middle you can use these alignment tools on the right side to center it and then center it in the middle and then what I'm gonna do because I know sticker app wants a minimum of 2000 by 2000. I'm just gonna go up here, I'm gonna click the lock proportions little icon, and then I'm gonna type in 2000. And when I click that, because I locked the proportions, it says 2000 as the height as well, but you don't have to do it that way. You could do it by just typing 2000 in either box. Now that I have my artboard of 2000 pixels, I'm going to scale this up. You can scale any illustration or text or item up from the center by hitting Alt or Option key. If I just click the top corner and drag it without hitting the Option or the Alt key, it scales it from that direction, which will kind of mess up your sizing from the center and then you'll have to align it again. So I like hitting the Alt or the Option key. I'm gonna size this up to about the edge, not exactly on the edge. And then I'm gonna go ahead and label this as cassette and what a lot of people I think try to do is go ahead and custom add that border to the sticker with the white border or the black border or whatever kind of border you want to have but you actually don't need to do that because the sticker app tool is very very smart and most of them actually are even if you're going to use something like a sticker mule or uh, whatever kind of sticker service you want to use it will go ahead and add that border for you all right so now that I'm ready all I have to do is click on my artboard title so that I have it selected. Go over to the export button right here. And then I'm gonna do this as a PNG and click remove the background. I want it to be a transparent high resolution image with no background. I need it to basically be see-through. So that way sticker app can make the border around it, give it the finish that we want to and order our sticker. So after that, I'm gonna go ahead and download that so that it's in our downloads. And then over on Sticker App, the website here, you can see that there are a lot of different options and customizations you can do. You can even make sticker sheets, you can make transfer stickers, you can make sticker packs. And then my favorite part right here is all of the different materials. Look at how many they have here for you to choose from. And of course, you can go ahead and choose your shape. We're gonna do a contour cut because I want it to go around the cassette tape. And then after we go down here and upload our file, you're gonna be brought into this really, really cool pre view area where you can go and select the finish of your sticker and you can see here I have holographic which I think would be really cool for a retro sticker I could select glitter which is also really cool maybe something like mirror also super super cool this is just a lot of fun to play with so I know you guys are gonna have a ton of fun playing with making stickers in Kittle and then ordering them in sticker app or joining our challenge if it's not ended yet and you can see right here what it will cost for the amount and the sizing that you want 
right now it's set on quantity of 35 which looks like to be their minimum and then you get a discount moving up and of course this is obviously just picking one specific sticker you can again make a sticker sheet or a pack and upload multiple designs then you could add it to your car and be on your way i also went ahead and uploaded our cactus plant sticker here where you can go through and ooh, this one looks really cool with the holographic oh prismic would be pretty trippy for this one which is really really cool even craft paper i didn't even know that was an option for sticker finishes this is just so much fun to play with so that's really the basics of getting a sticker design set up and ready to export from kittle over into your sticker design tool of choice you can be adding text you could be creating labels you can start with a template we have in kittle you could start by just typing in a prompt in our kittle ai settings whatever it is that you want to do you can make some really cool and unique stickers which you could be doing for your brand or maybe you're doing like a pop-up shop or maybe you're going to be creating some custom gifts in the future or maybe you just really like stickers and you want to make some really custom ones and then share them with all your friends that's a really cool idea as well so i know you're going to have a ton of fun making designs in kittle and then using a tool like sticker app to make them become a reality but you let me know in the comments what you think are you having any issues or trouble coming up with your sticker designs let us know this so we can help you out don't forget to check out some of those templates we also have some ai templates with stickers that can help you make some really really cool designs don't forget to check out those templates down below and of course subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any tutorials just like this one thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video